Delta Airlines is one of the largest and most loved airlines in the US, and it makes sense. The airline has long offered a massive selection of routes, excellent in-flight services, and a top-tier status program that makes flying on Delta even better. Ready to commit to an airline status program and curious about whether or not Delta Airlines is the best airline for your needs? That's exactly why I've put together this guide. Here's everything you need to know about Delta Airlines and the Delta Sky Miles program. This video is new for 2024, and it includes all the changes that Delta just made to its SkyMiles program, set to take place in the program year 2024. Before I dive in, if this video is helpful to you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work, and I would appreciate that support. Let's go over the basics of the Delta Airlines SkyMiles program. According to NerdWallet's evaluation, SkyMiles are valued at approximately 1.5 cents when redeemed for award travel. That's not bad, but it's about on par with the other major airlines in the US, not necessarily more. Delta is part of the SkyTeam Alliance, which is the second largest airline alliance out there, second only to the Star Alliance. The SkyTeam Alliance includes airlines like Air France, KLM, Korea Air, and more, and covers 187 countries. Delta Airlines operates from nine primary hubs, including Atlanta, Boston, Detroit, Los Angeles, Minneapolis St. Paul, Salt Lake City, Seattle, New York JFK, and New York LaGuardia. With its varied hub locations, the SkyMiles program is an excellent option for residents across the US, offering extensive coverage from coast to coast. Previously on Delta, you had to earn a combination of medallion qualifying dollars, medallion qualifying segments, and medallion qualifying miles. That's changing for 2024 though, so it'll be a little easier to keep track of what you've earned. Now, members will no longer earn medallion qualifying miles or medallion qualifying segments, just medallion qualifying dollars. This takes effect when qualifying in 2024 for 2025. Through the new program, you'll earn one medallion qualifying dollar per dollar spent on Delta flights. On partner airlines, you'll earn these MQDs based on a percentage of the distance flown and the fare class. The most straightforward method to earn on Delta is, naturally, flying with Delta, and you'll earn miles even on awards travel, something that sets Delta apart from much of the competition. Another option, as with most airlines, is through using a Delta credit card. On the Delta Sky Miles Reserve American Express card, you'll earn one MQD for every $10 you spend. On the Delta Sky Miles Platinum American Express card, you'll earn one MQD for every $20 you spend. So it can take a while to amass those points. With the changes in 2024, Delta has unfortunately de valued how much credit cards can earn you, quite a bit. Flying with partners, such as Air France or KLM, is another efficient way to gather miles. Even if direct point transfer among these airlines isn't possible, by providing your SkyMiles number during booking, you can credit those miles to your SkyMiles account. Remember, however, that you won't necessarily earn MQDs at the same rate on partner airlines as you do on Delta-operated flights. Additionally, members can earn miles through collaborations with various hotels, car rental companies, or by shopping via the SkyMiles shopping portal. Lastly, in some cases you can transfer points from eligible rewards programs to SkyMiles. These kinds of partners include the likes of American Express, Marriott Bonvoy, Hilton Honors, and more. Once you start flying on Delta, you'll progress through Delta's SkyMiles medallions. The first of these is SkyMiles Silver, which is achieved after 6,000 medallion qualifying dollars. SkyMiles Silver may be the entry level tier, but it still offers some great benefits. At Silver, you'll be added to the waitlist for seat upgrades starting 24 hours before flight departure, and you'll get free waived baggage fees. Not only that, but you'll get a priority check-in lane, priority boarding, and access to Delta's Reclaim My Status benefit, which allows passengers to fly with three months of complimentary status in the tier that they applied for, and earn back that status through the following medallion year. Other benefits include five-star status on the Hertz Gold Plus Rewards program, a one-month free trial of Instacart Plus, and discounts on Delta vacations. SkyMiles Silver corresponds to SkyTeam Elite status, meaning that you'll get perks and earn on global partner airlines. If you surpass the Delta SkyMiles Silver tier, you'll ascend to Gold tier. This requires 12,000 medallion qualifying dollars. Gold tier gets you even better benefits than Silver, as you might expect. On Gold, you'll be added to the upgrade waitlist 72 hours before departure, up from 24 hours. On top of the waived baggage fees, you'll also get waived same-day confirmation fees. And you'll get Sky Priority Boarding with a priority security line and expedited baggage services. And with Sky Miles Gold, you'll get four drink vouchers to use on flights. Sky Miles Gold corresponds to Sky Team Elite Plus, which is the higher of only two status levels on Sky Team. 
The third status tier on Delta Airlines is the SkyMiles Platinum status. Platinum is a fairly significant step up beyond SkyTeam Gold. However, to get there, you'll need 18,000 medallion qualifying dollars, which is no small feat. On Platinum, you'll unlock Delta's choice benefits, which allows you to choose from some pretty impressive perks, like upgrade certificates, the ability to gift medallion status, and more. On Platinum, you'll only be able to choose one of these perks. Platinum also adds you to the upgrade waitlist a hefty 120 hours before the departure of your flight, and you'll get unlimited comfort Comfort plus upgrades after ticketing. That's on top of the priority line perks, waived baggage fees, and more that were already on offer on SkyMiles Gold Medallion. Platinum gets you three months of Instacart Plus too. Like on Gold, SkyMiles Platinum corresponds to SkyTeam Elite Plus. The highest tier in the Delta Airlines SkyMiles program is SkyMiles Diamond, which affords you access to a huge range of upgrades. SkyMiles Diamond is achieved after amassing a hefty 35,000 medallion qualifying dollars. On top of the benefits you already get in Platinum, there are a range of others to consider. Notably, you'll get a choice of a hefty three benefits from the Choice Benefits program, and some of those benefits are better than on Platinum. On Diamond, you'll also be added to the upgrade waitlist 120 hours before departure. However, you'll get priority over the other tiers. You'll also get a complimentary clear membership, a VIP customer service phone line, and more. Like the SkyMiles Platinum status, Diamond gets you SkyTeam Elite Plus. So, once you've put in all that work to accumulate those points, what can you actually do with them? Well, there are actually quite a few things you can do. The most obvious way to spend the points is by flying on Delta flights, and as mentioned, awards travel on Delta Airlines will still earn you miles. Delta, unfortunately, does have blackout dates, so you'll want to make sure that you can actually use miles on the dates that you want before you book. And you can use miles to book flights on SkyTeam partner airlines like Air France. Further, you can use miles for seat upgrades, a use that many flyers find to be of great value, and you can use them on things like hotel bookings and other travel-related bookings. In general, there are a ton of advantages to the Delta SkyMiles program, and if you live near a Delta hub, it may simply be the best option for you considering the flight options that you have available to you. Thanks again for watching this video, and again, if it was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye on the channel for more travel-related tips and tricks, and I'll see you next time.